massive opportunity for Florian Marku on the biggest stage of his professional boxing career thus far. Hello, my name is Chris and welcome to Broken Nose Boxing's build-up video. Yes, another build-up video for Maxim Prodan versus Florian Marku in the welterweight division. Live on September 25th on the undercard of the Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Usyk fight. Live from London in the United Kingdom. Broadcast on The Zone Boxing and Sky Sports Box Office. Promoted by Matchroom Boxing. Yeah, yeah, apparently they'll not hit and subscribe. I know, it's, it's mad. I mean, you should see the statistics I have on it, it's crazy. <laughs> if you could hit the, that'd be great. Thanks. Yes, another Prodan versus Marku build-up video because I've made two of them so far and they've both performed very well and I'm really interested in this fight. So I thought, you know what? Let's do another one. Before the main topic of this video, let's get into a quick tale of the tape. Maxim Prodan has got a record of 19 wins, 0 losses, 1 draw with 15 wins coming by way of knockout. He is 28 years old, he has an orthodox stance and he was born in the Ukraine, now stays in Milan, Italy but has Romanian nationality. The Albanian king Florian Marku has got a record of 8 wins, 0 losses, 1 draw with 6 wins coming by way of knockout. He is 28 years old, he's got a southpaw stance, and he's originally from Lushni, Albania, but now stays in London in the United Kingdom. So both men are undefeated and seem very confident in this fight. A lot of boxing fans have reacted to the Joshua Usyk undercard as being a bit underwhelming, and I think that Prodan versus Marku is the only fight on the undercard that's really been universally praised and that's only by fans that really know about Florian Marku. I think this is a massive opportunity for Florian Marku here if he can put in a good performance and win against Prodan. And if you check out my 60 second predictions video in this fight, you'll see how I think the fight is gonna go and what my exact prediction is. But like I said, this is a big opportunity for Marku. Marku's gonna be fighting in a sold out football stadium in London, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and there's going to be upwards of 60,000 fans there and that's going to give Marco a chance to shine in front of a whole new audience and a whole new audience globally because the world will be watching this fight card. Joshua versus Usyk is a giant fight. Joshua is one of the biggest sports stars in the entire world. A lot of people are going to be watching this fight and or this fight card and I think that Marku, if he can put in a good performance against Prodan, is going to get himself a lot of new fans. Because Marku has a lot of fans, the reason I make these videos is I know that Marku is a huge name in Albania, he's a huge name in Greece, he's a big name in Italy. I see the statistics, I know the different countries in which Marku is popular and I think that He's not really cracked the UK market yet because he, it, the level of fights he's been in are, are quite low. You know, his last fight against Ryland Charlton was a good fight because it was two undefeated sort of novices. Novices in the sense of boxing. I know Marco has got a wide variety of experience in other combat sports, but from a boxing perspective, he's, he's a nine fight novice. And the fact that Marco is fighting someone like Maxim Prodan, who's an undefeated 20 fight fighter shows that Marku wants to go fast and for example if you were to compare Marku to say Conor Ben, Conor Ben had a much slower progression in his career compared to Marku so far and that's something that Marku has mentioned in uh, interviews quite a lot kind of poking at Conor Ben and poking at a few other fighters as well. I think a lot of the fighters in and around the welterweight division in the UK realize that Marku is an increasingly big name and it would be a potential big fight if they were to fight him. So a lot of fighters are starting to call out Marku and that can only be a good thing because the more people that call Marku out, the more fans of those other fighters are gonna know about Marku and um, the more it's gonna benefit Marku. Because he's an exciting fighter and he showed in his last fight against Charlton that 
he has some good ring IQ. You know, he switched up his stay. He kind of fought in the back foot, kept Charlton at range because he knew that Charlton hits hard. So keep him at range, but it's only trade when, when Marku wants to trade. And it was almost a punch perfect performance against Charlton. He did get that flash knocked in, which was a big surprise. And I think that's something that, you know, Team Marku will work on, just keeping up that concentration as the fight progresses, not getting a bit sort of um not not switching off at any point because these fighters hit hard. And Prodan, his record shows that Prodan hits hard, but like I'd said in my previous build-up video for this fight, Prodan's power doesn't seem to be carrying up the levels with him in Prodan's last five fights he's only stopped one of his opponents and in Prodan's last five fights that was really Prodan's you know toughest opposition so that would suggest that as the difficulty level goes up Prodan's power goes down so Marku fight fans let me know in the comments below which country you'll be watching this fight from thanks for watching if you haven't check out my patreon page my ko-fi page Remember that little like button? And I'm out. Peace.